Hello and welcome everyone to the Little Crafter Show. My name is Eileen, aka Eileen Little Crafter. Additional information about this show and my podcast show, Arts Cross, and everything in between can be found on my website, EileenLittleCrafter.com. And as the title said, we are going to be working with Happy Crafters Heat Transfer Vinyl or HTV or Iron On. I'm going to be uh, working on a cool little hoodie which I got at Kmart, which is just a plain little hoodie. And I wanted to jazz it up for my son, and we love to call him the champ. So um, we are going to just put, very simple, I was thinking about carving it, but then I changed my mind. So now I'm going to look under the apparel, or canvas, look under apparel or fashion. And up top you'll also see when you're having the letters, you can see like um, a way to isolate the letters or just to carve them. And I'm figuring out which font that I want to use. And I decided on a eagle bold font, which is a single layer font. I love the fact that we have so many different fonts. And uh, But this one is one of my go-to fonts because it looks very masculine and has like a sports feel to it. So I thought that this would uh, really go well with the project that I'm working on. So anyways, I do change the, uh, the curvature. I decide to use something uh, just straight. Um, and I will share in the pictures and or in the weeding. Anyway guys, so um, what you want to do is just basically use the canvas. You know, um, you can also size it and, and use the different colors to help you um, figure out how everything is going to look in your final project. So that's really cool. So I retype everything out and I think that the word the is sized at like four and the word champ is I believe sized at five or six. Six. And you also want to um, unlock the proportion lock which is either on top or by the word and to get the sizing the way you want it. So I'm going to share with you what kind of what the project is going to look like but you'll see actual pictures at the end of the video. So also I want to remind you guys that which is hard for me, don't forget to mirror your images and put the plastic side, which is the HTV carrier sheet, you want to put that down on the, you want to put it down on the mat. So you want to put it down on the sticky side. So that's basically what the Cricut looks like. I want to share with you what that kind of HTV looks like that I'm working on. So that's super fast speed. And at this point, sorry, the angles are a little crooked. Um, I'm so, I don't know, I misplaced my, um, what is that? Ah, shoot. My boom arm, my new boom arm, my short little boom arm that I got from um, Harbor Freight. Not Harbor Freight, why was it? I was thinking about something else that I got from Harbor Freight. What I want to say is Amazon. So anyways, I have to weed everything out. And then the letters, I thought everything was just going to come out on the carrier sheet, easy peasy, but that wasn't it. was not really lemony squeezy. <laughs> so anyways, it took me a while to um, get everything out. I decided not to use my bright pad. And um, it wasn't too much of a, of a pain because it was pretty simple. I love this one because, like I said, it's very simple. It's very bold. It's kind of on the masculine side, in my opinion. Um... Like I said, this is one of my go-to fonts that I use for a lot of my, when I'm working on my projects, either for my husband or my son. And I'm trying to get all the rest of this, you know, I want to take the, ins the outer pieces first and then I will get the interior pieces later on. So anyways, like I said, um, you want to make sure that when you're cutting out, so right now I'm going to be also using my uh, Cricut. And I probably, not my Cricut, my Easy Press, this is the original Easy Press, they came out with another one. Anyway, so I couldn't really um, figure out what kind of vinyl this was. I know this, this was HCV because it has a carrier sheet, but each HCV um, vinyl has like different temperatures. So I just went with the regular one. Uh, so what it was for the Happy Craft, it was, was 305 for 10 minutes and or 10 seconds, whatever. Um, so I just put for the temp 305 and then for timer 10 and um, yeah so as you can see I'm out of frame and I will share with you what that looks like once I have it all weeded out and everything so that's also my easy press mat which I will be using and at this point I'm going to be using the easy press like I said I'm going to be 
first trying to heat up the surface ahead of time. And I don't know why you see my phone, but anyway, so I'm going to heat up the surface ahead of time. And then what I'll do is I will um, put the letterings down. And everything, once I do that, I will take the, um, I'll place it down. Once I do that, then I will um, heat up the back for a couple of times for, for 3 or 5 for 10 minutes or 10 seconds. So here are the pictures. I hope that you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Or you can always email me. My email address is Eileen at EileenLocroft.com. Thank you for watching and bye for now.